Let's go talk to him. Okay. Top of the morning, friends and family. Oh my gosh, I ruined my relaxation zone. How are you guys doing today? I am doing okay, okay, okay. You're probably asking yourself, why does it look like I'm watching an episode of Triple B TV right now? I don't get it. I thought this was the vlog channel. If you watched last vlog, then you know that my camera is broken. And you might be asking yourself, why does it look like Brian's about to do something really stupid with his camera? I'm gonna attempt to take this thing apart. I thought you guys might enjoy coming along for the ride and seeing. Here we go. Let's take this thing apart. I've got some tape laid out here so I can put the little tiny screws on. I got my little tiny screwdriver to take the screws off of. Cause I don't know what the lengths of all these screws are. If they're all the same, if they're different, who knows? Makes sense? Makes sense to me. So here's, here goes nothing. One tiny screw. Whew, thought I was gonna strip that bad boy for a second. That would not have been good. Only on a second screw. <laughs> well, there goes that idea. The screws are in there so tight that they would rather strip out than come out of their little sockets. And so they're not coming out now. There's no way they're coming out. I'm gonna have to send it off to a professional, which is what I was really hoping to avoid. But that's what's happening. I'm gonna put these four little screws back in. <sighs> I was planning to talk today about my camera and taking about the camera and having that be a whole epic thing. And obviously that's not happening now. So at least I have some snakes we could talk about. <laughs> this is Mr. Pink. He is the very first snake that we ever hatched out here at Triple B. And he is gorgeous. He's looking really good. He's a beautiful snake. He's an Enchi Lesser Poshet Sunset. Very first snake to make it. The only snake to make it out of the first clutch, as many of you know. There he is, doing his classic ball python thing. <laughs> Man, I was really hoping that we could take apart that camera. Gosh. Uh, send it into the experts, get it fixed. I don't know what we're gonna do for vlogs now. I'm, I can just. We're gonna make it work. We're going to make it work. Look at that nice big full shed. Yes. And here's a little update on our super dwarf, Elvis. My buddy Tyler was actually asking if I could do an update on this guy. He's still quite a bit flighty. He hasn't bit me in forever, but he's still, he's still not the most confident snake yet. You know, he's still kind of like, still thinking about maybe putting a little bit of <laughs> year eights on me, but he's a cool looking snake. And he's a, he's a good snake. As you can see, he's not biting me. He's hanging out. He didn't actually piss on me, even though maybe he wanted to for half a second. I saw that little cloaca open up for half a second. But, you know, he didn't. So we did a poll recently where I asked you guys if you wanted to hear about just the good stuff or the good and the bad stuff. And thank you to all you guys that participated in that poll, by the way. There were a lot of you. I think it was like 100 people that responded to the poll. Thank you very much. It makes it much easier. It makes it better to do polls if you guys actually do the polls and we do the polls and we do the polls and then I can actually get feedback and help make this channel the best it can possibly be and 98% of you guys said you want good and bad. I've always said this channel is gonna be like the real deal and really what's going on so without sharing too many details with you guys I mean basically what it breaks down to is I've got thousands of dollars in bills due in like three days and I haven't figured out how I'm gonna pay for them yet. Is it stressful? <laughs> oh yeah, it's stressful. I wake up in the morning sometimes and feel like uh, I, I wanna cry, you know, work's been slow. I really don't wanna get a tangent where I'm complaining about everything, because I'm, I'm not complaining, it's just a, it's a situation, you know, it's just, it's, it, it is what it is. I'm doing everything in my power to do what I can do to do to make it work. But even though it's a time where I'm struggling, you know, and I haven't really struggled like this in a long time, I recognize all the good things I got going on. I got awesome family. You know, I've got a roof over my head, there's, there's food. My sign is falling, even if everything seems like it's falling apart sometimes, I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and going the places that I'm hoping to be going is, is part, it's, and it's not easy to do, you know, sometimes you have to struggle and you have to sacrifice and sometimes you ride by the seat of your pants. <laughs> and that's what I chose, you know, I chose not to take the traditional route where everything's always easy and laid out for me in a path that's easy to follow, like colored by numbers type of thing, you know. 
there's a lot of learning going on here. And, and just because I'm struggling doesn't mean I can't keep a smile on my face, doesn't mean I'm not happy, doesn't mean I don't recognize all the good things that are happening too, you know? And I kind of hope that's the, that's the message I'm hoping to pass on is no matter what struggles you might be facing in your life, things can always be worse, is my point. That's something I've been telling people a lot is like, you're like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I've had worse, because it's true. I've had worse, even though I'm not maybe in this exact type of sense. I've been in either in more pain. I've been I've been stuck away from my family. There's been plenty of things that I could relate as being worse than they are now. So that's the main point I'd like to make, you guys. Sometimes struggle is good. Struggle helps us build character and become the people that that we can be. It makes us stronger. It makes us stronger, right? <laughs> maybe I'm just kidding myself. I don't know. I just want to say I appreciate that you guys are willing to hear me out on everything and don't just want me to pretend like everything's all good all the time because sometimes it ain't, man. Sometimes it ain't all good. But it will be all good eventually, I think. Right? Elvis? See, Elvis used to think that everything was all bad. He'd be biting me and thinking that everything was gonna be just this horrible thing and pissing all over everything, and, and now we can actually just hang out and it doesn't have to be a struggle. Right, Elvis? Let's go talk to Hillary. Well, I think Hillary just helped me find a solution. Even though I can't, I have no flip out camera to look at and make sure everything's good from here. That's the other problem with the 5D is I can't see what's happening on the screen for when I'm holding the camera face, facing me. I can't see it. It's, it's like it's, I'm blind, you know? But I think if I hold the camera at the, the same distance and maintain the focus manually on my face, I think we'll be okay with this thing for now until the other camera gets fixed. And then uh, I can always set it back. But I may not always remember, so bear with me if a little, for a little while going forward here things aren't necessarily perfectly in focus, but just let me know what you think. Because I, I'm pretty stoked about getting the full frame action on this 5D though. Eventually I'd like to vlog with the 1D camera and be able to do like 120 frames per second and have the most epic slow motion stuff ever. How would that be? I think it would be freaking amazing. See, so if I get this close, it's no longer in focus, right? If I get way back here, I don't know. Which, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be all right. We're gonna make it work. What do we do to come, we came up here for a reason. What's up, Hill? <laughs> Hi. Are you super zoomed in on my face? Um, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about how your day's going? Day is going good. Um, ran some errands with the boys, went to a park they really like, got a bag of um, hand-me-down clothes from a friend, went to Trader Joe's, now we're back here. Check out this thing that Hillary made, guys. This thing is sweet. This thing is awesome. It's, uh, it's macrame is what it is, right, Hill? Mm -hmm. Macrame. This is macrame. Check this thing out. It is sweet. <laughs> and I thought, I thought it was mine now. I thought it was mine to just sit at and look at and always see every day of my life and hang on this wall and be beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that work she put into that, guys. That thing is gorgeous. But then, but then, then I go on Facebook and see a post that, oh, just kidding, I'm selling that thing. Hmm. So, <laughs> not to not to plug my wife's artwork here on my my channel. I, you guys know I don't do that all the time, but I'm doing it right now. There's a link down in the description if you want that thing. She's selling it, so. There's a link in the description if you want it, all right? But I'm making her make me another one, okay? <laughs> Can you, tell, you see the little uh, volume meter going when I'm talking? This mm -hmm. little volume meter, is it getting into the red at all? Mm. Is it getting into the red when I talk or is it? Is it I don't see any red. It's not red, just yellow? Just yeah. getting into the yellow? Oh, it's freaking perfect. Yeah. I don't know guys, I got a feeling I'm gonna look back at this footage and think, I'm gonna vlog with the 5D for now and even though you can't automatic focus with it, the autofocus is amazing. It don't, it's just like you can automatically focus. You don't have to worry about manually focusing all the time. But what do you guys think about it? I'm, is it looking pretty good? I guess I'll find out later when I look at the footage. Where's Eli? Scream hands? He's sleeping. Where? Right here on the couch. Oh. I almost sat on my boy, my little screams. I almost sat on that little, oh, yeah, I almost sat on that guy. <laughs> Eli, can you tell us? Can you tell us everything, bud? Chickens. I like chicken. Scorpions, Daddy. Scorpions. Scorpions. 
scorpion. Big spider. Oh, big spider. Hmm. Hemi, how are you this? How are you this, daddy? How are you this? <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> Noah, can you pause that for a second? What do you know? I know. Cars. Cars? What about cars? That they go fast, but my rockets go faster, and that's all I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! I think I, I think I'm really liking using this camera. I don't think I'll be able to go back to the ADD because I'm just looking at the quality when I'm l looking at Noah there, and the quality is amazing on this camera. I forgot how really amazing 5D can be even though you don't get the autofocus. Have I, have I beaten that dead horse autofocus subject enough yet? Um, your snake poo, never again in the kitchen trash. Why not? It smelled so bad. A what? little turd, like this big, was so stinky. Well, I had to take the bag out. Do you think that, uh, that, was, that was my fault? Mm-hmm. Why was it my fault? Because you let the snake poop in our kitchen trash. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I'm no longer allowed to let snakes poop in the kitchen trash. Who thought? Well, you know, I had this snake out yesterday, and it was like this snake right here, which is a GHI Mojave pinstripe possible extreme gene het clown. And this girl is a beauty that I got from my buddy Graham Hanagriffs over at Hetty Herps, and she is just beautiful. I was holding it last night. I do that all the time. You guys don't see me on camera all the time holding the snake because when I go into snake mode, my personal mode of snake holding most of the time is I don't want to have a camera in front of me. I don't want to be doing it on camera. I like to just hold them. And I go into like this super zen mode of I'm holding snake time. And it's like my, my peaceful time where everything is good in the world. And not that I don't have other times when I'm not holding snakes when things are good in the world. But when I'm holding the snake and I'm just sitting there, everything is good in the world for me. And that's what I was doing last night. And then he needed to poop and I was standing right by the trash can over there. So I was like, hey, well, <laughs> it's time to put the snake over the trash can so it can poop. It's potty trained. Apparently it stunk. Have I been talking a lot today? I think I'm making up for the fact that I didn't get to do any talking on Monday because of the audio problems. And so now it's all just coming pouring out. But check this out. One thing I forgot to mention, speaking of the vlog. So this piece of wood here, that stick, that's from Monday's vlog. That's from our time at the beach with the elephant seals. There's actually a shot of Hillary picking it up off the beach, plotting to make something like that as she picked it up. So it's special. So you should feel special too. I'm gonna have to get used to vlogging with this <laughs> wider shot and stuff and not being able to see myself in a monitor because I really think I'm gonna keep using this camera going forward. But before I think maybe I was, I was doing it like this and you guys are probably getting a big shot of the ceiling a lot of the time, but <laughs> I gotta remember, I gotta hold it down here, I think, right? Is that about a good? Okay, let's keep it there. Thanks guys for being uh, guinea pigs along with me as I start vlogging with this new camera. Well, my old camera. And I'm sure it's getting dark and getting light and getting dark. Isn't that fun? I, I think it's fun. <laughs> I like how all of a sudden this has become like a brand new toy for me. My old camera that I've been filming with since like the very beginning of Triple B TV. And it's like brand new for me again. And you know, every time I pick up this camera and start talking to it, for some reason I get to be put in a very good mood. And I, I'd like to think I have you guys to thank for that. So thanks you guys. It is a beautiful day. No doubt about that. We're pretty lucky, I suppose. Gotta remind myself of that every day. You guys should remind yourselves of that too every day, that you are, you are lucky to be alive. We're all lucky to be alive here on this earth, sharing it together. Ah, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Hmm. You know, something else I didn't get to mention to you guys on Monday is that I couldn't fly my drone at that beach. It said right at the gate when we first entered in, there was a big sign with a red circle and a cross that said, no drone zone. So I think I wanted to fly my drone right now.
it was trying to land in the trees on its own, that would not have been good. Talk about every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the silver lining of this day for me is learning that filming video with this thing is going to turn out to prove to be pretty freaking sweet. So <laughs> I think you guys might be able to agree. I'm just assuming that the quality is as good as I think it is as I'm filming it. I think it's going to be pretty good. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. One thing I want to make sure you guys do is you have yourselves a great day. Don't worry about what I got going on over here. I'm going to figure it out. I always do. I'm in negotiations with a couple people right now about a sunset and it's, it's, it's going to turn out to be a-okay. I, I have faith that it will. Even if the sunset doesn't work out, something will work out. Even if it means that we... No. <laughs> I was going to say something very disparaging. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually go on down there and whack that like button for me. I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> well, I remembered now, so please do that. Go ahead and check out another video down here or you know, click on any one of these links to find out more if you don't already know what's going on here on the channel and what you want to do with it and what I want to do with it. Click away, man. There's all kinds of things to click on today. All right? You guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you again very soon. I mean, there's my office way back over there underneath that pier.